In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the four foot punch bag we have here at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about all of its features, exactly what you get for your money, how it's made, what it's filled with, who would want to use this bag, and at the end, I'm just going to put together a short montage of people training on heavy bags. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you like this video and find it useful, we'd really appreciate the subscribe to this channel. Get all the latest videos and updates from us at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the four foot punch bag we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So at Enzo we do have a small selection of punch bags here and over the years it's kind of expanded and shrunk you know as we've kind of worked out more and more what our customers want from us here at Enzo. What we found is we've tend to have stuck always with these Cymac punch bags and it's partly because the, the way the market is, you get really, really cheap bags all the way up to the very expensive bags, as you, I guess you do for, for a lot of products in the world. Now, the really cheap bags tend to be very light, not packed very well, and almost unusable. Good maybe for kids just hitting around and they kind of fling all over the place, but it's not something that you're gonna use day in, day out. It's very easy to get bored with sort of light cheap punch bags. Also at the other end you get the kind of gym quality bags. So like made out of leather, very well packed, very hardy. If you've got the money, definitely worth buying. You know, those leather professional style gym quality punch bags are absolutely amazing. The problem is they're very, very expensive. And most people that come to us at Enzo want a bag for their home. They want to stick it up in their garage or a spare room conservatory, or even chuck it up in the garden. And they don't want to spend sort of 400, 500 pounds on a punch bag. It's just not something that our customers, we found over the years, really want from us. Very, very rare that we'll get asked for a, for a, for a punch bag for a gym. What most people want is something that they can use at home, but is heavy. It's a heavy, solid bag that's going to give them lots of feedback, but they don't have to spend an absolute fortune on. So that's why we just keep coming back to these Cymac punch bags. Now, they used to do a three foot. That's been difficult recently, but we are going to try and stop the three foot if they start doing it again. But they do a four foot, five foot, and a six foot punch bag. And today what I'm going to be talking about is the four foot bag, which is by far the most popular bag that we have here. Now one of the big, big features that I really like out of all of these bags from Cymac is that they machine fill them. So they're, they're packed in by a machine. It's not just like a load of stuff just chucked into a bag. What it is, is lots of little squares of material that are kind of layered down and packed down, layered and packed, layered and packed all the way up to the top. And what this means is that when you're hitting it over time, you don't get these soggy kind of areas in the bag. A lot of bags will go very, very soggy at the top and get incredibly hard at the bottom. And then, you know, it's not over a long time, it's not very usable, it just becomes a bit of a pain. These bags don't suffer from that. You will get it a little bit, of course, you'll get it with any bag, even the professional ones, but you don't get it anywhere near as a lot of other bags in this price bracket something that we really like from them one thing that they are is vinyl now a lot of people sneer about vinyl they don't like it and that's fair enough vinyl boxing gloves aren't particularly great they will split quite easily so you know if you're training a lot you'd expect sort of six months or a year out of a pair of vinyl gloves on here what it does do is it keeps the cost down leather bags are really expensive and you know, if you want to go down that route, like I said before, you're going to be sort of 300, 400 pounds upwards for a really good heavy leather bag. So the vinyl really keeps the cost down and it is tough and it is durable. Now, if you leave it outside in the wet the whole time, obviously that's going to damage it. If it's in a gym and people are hammering it for hours and hours and hours every day, then yeah, maybe you'll need something a better sort of tougher that tougher than this vinyl but like i said most people are buying them for the home they're going to be using it themselves not many other people using it and actually this is by far perfectly durable for for what you need um, a bag like this in a garage used by just the family 
of of the owners of the garage it will last you a lifetime there's absolutely no reason that it would split at all unless obviously if you cut it or damage it in ways that it's not designed for the other good thing is you get is you get the chains with it so you don't have to mess about trying to buy chains and you also get a swivel on this so in theory you could hook it straight onto a hook and and it will be good to go some people do like buying swivels on top and if you get i'll just show you like a ceiling hook here you get an additional swivel on top of those and we also do the wall brackets and they have swivels too um, but like i said you don't necessarily need it you can put it straight onto a fixed hook and it will be absolutely fine for you a few other quick features you also get these huge kind of reinforced attachments for the d-ring so they that's going to stay on really nice and wrong really really heavy stitching around on that patch to hold those d-rings on and another thing you get well i won't show you but you do also get a d-ring attached on the bottom so if you wanted to secure the bag to the floor so it's not swinging all over the place you can do that so it's a really nice option to have that on this bag now one of the biggest questions we get asked about these is how to hang them you know especially or you're at home and people aren't haven't necessarily got a lot of DIY skills it's always a problem how to hang them like I said before we do have the ceiling hooks and we do do the wall brackets so that is a really good option another thing that works really well especially if it's going in the garage is just hanging it off one of the roof beams that's a really really useful option um, just if you've got girders in your garage or something like that you can just hang hang a bit of rope up there and just clip clip it straight on one of the other options is that um, putting it out in the garden so a lot of people do have gardens again it's hard to hang it if you've got a wall you can put a wall bracket up against that but I have heard of some people getting some scaffolding and just making a little kind of frame up and hanging the bag off that it works really really well the only thing is like I said before is they're not particularly great when they're outside the entire time outside in the dry absolutely no problem it's just the fact that you're getting wet so if you can cover it in some way or have a little roof over it that will really make a difference in terms of extending the life of your bag now it's really worth knowing all of the dimensions one to make sure that you can actually fit it in your house the other is to make sure you can transport it most people that get these off us will come into the shop and pick them up delivery is pretty expensive for something so heavy so yeah make sure that you can get it in the car now like i said there are four foot bags so it's about 120 centimeters in terms of width they're pretty wide they work out about 38 centimeters something like that so uh yeah pretty wide for a punch bag definitely not anywhere near as skinny as say the six foot so that's a nice nice solid amount of space that you can punch we don't have any scales for it so i can't show you how heavy it is but they come in around 43 kilos which actually for a punch bag is a really really good weight you'll get loads of feedback when you're hitting that if you're not hitting correctly especially people that are new to sort of hitting a bag you're going to be hitting the thing and bouncing off it so that's exactly what you want and when you get a nice clean punch you'll be able to hit through it a bit more um yeah so definitely for a home bag that they're the perfect thing so at Enzo Martial Arts we do like to think we've got a really wide range for all the different martial arts and you know stuff that goes alongside these we like to think we've got a pretty good selection so as well as the four foot punch bags we also have five foot and six foot bags we do speed balls and we do the floor to ceiling balls we've got a whole range of boxing gloves again many of these will be absolutely perfect for training on a bag and we do wraps hand tape and if you're into coaching one of the belly guards so as promised at the beginning of the video here was a short montage of people doing bag training Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful, I hope you learnt loads about the four foot punch bag we have here at Enzo Martial Arts. 
If you like this video and found it useful, we'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel. Just click the little icon down below and get all the latest videos and updates on all the products here at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.